Hello everyone, I am going to explain you the array in C programming language. What is array? Array is a collection of the type items which are the same type. Or you can say that array is a variable that can store multiple values. You have studied about variability. For example, I want to store the age of the person. I can declaration variable in age. And then I want to assign the value to age. I can write age equal to 20. And then I can print your age is percentage D and H. Let's run it. Your age is 20. So if I want to store the age of two people, like Sok is 21 and Sai is 22. So what can I do? I have to create two rival, A1 and A2. And then A1 is represent Sok and A2 is represent Sai. So A1 is 20 and a2 is equal to 21 and then I can print that sock is percentage d and I also can print that sign is h2 this one is h1 and then I can run it. So is 20, so is 21. How about if I want to store the age of 100 people? If I want to store the age of 100 people, I have to write age 3, age 4, age 5, and until H 100 so I have to declare many variables like this so in this case you can use array instead of you declare many variables that has the same tab like this so you have to declare array so I have to delete this one I use sphere brackets inside the sphere, the sphere bracket I write the size of array for example I want to store five people the age of five people I can write five if I want to store 100 people I declare here is 100 if I want to store 1000 people I can declare here is 1000 so in the case i want to declare the array that can store five people so here if number five the size of array and then i give the value of h h one we can call h one h zero equal to for example, equal to 20, h1 equal to 25, h3 equal to 30, h4 equal to 18. Like this, it can stop one two three four one two three four and you have to h two equal to twenty seven ready one two three four five and then here i can write like this 
for example the age of the student so i can write student one is percentage and then age zero which one is age one i can write student two is like this and i can co copy and paste and this one is two and this one is three and then the last one is four so i can run it You see, student 1 is 20, student 2 is 25, student, sorry, he is, we have to write 3, 4, and 5. Then let me run it. You see here, student 1 is 20, student 2 is 25, student 3 is 27, student 4 is 30, and student 5 is 18. So if you want to store many of people, you can set the size of the array. The size of the array is inside the sphere bracket. Let me explain to you why it's, it's like this. You see, when you declare the variable array like this, in H or phi, like this or like this, it's, it's similar. or you can write like this or write like this are similar. It means that when you declaration the variable H phi, it means that it create five element one, two, three, four, five to store the data. So the value of the array we call element and the position of value we call index. The index of array is start from 0, not start from 1. It start from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why I write here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because the index of array is start from 0. So we can call the, we can assign the value of H0 equal to 18. H1 equal to 25, H2 equal to 21, H3 equal to 9, H4 equal to 20. So in the case, I can write like this. We use curly bracket, curly bracket to store the value of array like this. 20, 25, 27, 30, 18. It's the same. Let me delete it or remove it. Yeah. And then run it again. You see, he is output the same wizard. So this one is we call one dimensional array. Why we call one dimensional array? Because the array it has only one dimension. This one is only one dimension. Is it two dimension? It will be like this, like H9 or some value that you can assign it, but here is one dimensional array. 